Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Psychic Goddess Erica. Today's forecast setup is a little different than the usual. That's because I am 35, well, I'll be 36 weeks pregnant by the end of the week. So I can't get on the floor like I usually do for my other setup because I'll get stuck there and my husband's not home right now to help me up. So different setup today, but um, we're still going to flow with it today. Um, I am looking for the June 2022 forecast for the collective. However, as many of you know by now, if you watch my channel, the it the timing doesn't necessarily matter. Time is relative. So what that means is that if you happen to see this in December, for example, and you're drawn to it, if you are in week one of December, click on week one of this forecast and the timestamps will be down below in the description box and the messages can still apply. So that goes for any of my forecasts, pick your cards, etc. The timeline that is listed in the title doesn't really necessarily matter because if you're drawn to it, the messages can still apply. Um, and you can also listen to the general message as well. Um, if you don't want to click on a specific week, if you're looking at it at another time, because again, like I said, it's basically really a timeless message, um, but it it does also serve as um, like a kind of like a spiritual roadmap a little bit for the collective for June 2022 as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to be doing a general message for the month for June or whenever you see this first, the general message first, and then I'll get into each week. Um, how I go about the forecast, because I go back and listen to them too for myself, since it's a collective message, is I will listen to the general forecast first. And then when the week approaches, like for example, when week one approaches, then I'll go to the timestamp and listen to week one. And then when week two comes, then I'll go back and listen to week two, etc. Or maybe listen to week one, see how it played out. And the general message, see how it played out. And then listen to week two. Some people watch it all the way through. That's perfectly fine also. Today I'm working with the Archer's Love Oracle deck, which is one of the ones I created. This one's starting to look beat up because I use it so much. But if this is a deck you're interested in, the information on where you can go to get it will be down below in the description box. Basically on my website. The Fairy Tarot is another one I'll be working with today. I'm drawn to fairies today. The healing messages from the fairies and then the sacred self-care oracle so let's jump on in I want to start off with the sacred self-care oracle let me make some more space over here sorry you guys can't see my setup this time where the cards are going but collective may it resonate anyone and everyone who sees this truth be told okay so the first message for june general message is connect with your womb so whether you are identify as female male two-spirit etc doesn't matter we all have a womb to connect with whether it's the physical womb that you carry in your body whether it's the womb of your partner or your mother or whether it's more of a womb in a symbolic spiritual sense in terms of like a place of creative space in which um things are growing in which things are um what's the word i'm looking for i want to say the word incubating if that's the right word i'm not sure um but in which things are being created so connect with your womb so if you are someone who identifies as having a physical womb um right now you may want to do something like get a womb cleansing or womb healing in june or if you're currently pregnant, like someone like myself or trying to get pregnant, um, 
you know, still connecting with the womb in terms of understanding that you are creating life there. So whether that is a literal life as in a child or whether it's creating a new life for yourself, giving a birth to a new version of yourself, connect with your womb. And this applies to people who do feel like who do not identify with having a woman in their physical body, such as um, somebody who, for example, identifies as male. Um, if that's the case, you know, your symbolic womb in terms of what are you healing in the way of ancestral trauma, for example, this applies to everybody. What are you healing in terms of ancestral trauma or um, generational trauma? to in, in order to create a new life for yourself what are you giving birth to creatively um maybe you are connecting with the womb in terms of like a partner that may be carrying your child and sending love and healing to that womb space that 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 child maybe you are connecting to the womb that you came from your mother and healing that connection healing that dynamic either on your own or with your mother directly that is coming up but let's see what else is going on moving on to the archer's love oracle deck for general message for the month let's see what's going on truth be told Travel is another message. So in June or whenever you are seeing this, travel may be something that you are planning or could be something that's actually happening within the month, whether it's you traveling, whether it's somebody traveling to you, whether it's you relocating or moving your home or changing your job to a new environment or a new office or whatever it might be, whether it's just being in a whole new environment, even if it's like a quick day trip or something, whether it's more of a symbolic energy of travel, of you traveling in a new and different direction, traveling in a new and different path than what you were before, there's the energy of travel, whether it's literally in physical travel or whether it's more symbolic travel. Travel needs to be happening, movement, momentum, things going, things flowing, things um, moving from one place to the other in life are happening in and around June or whenever you happen to see this message. And, um, making sure that however you're traveling you're coming from a place of love since that is coming from the the um archer's love deck um love in the terms of love as a frequency love doesn't always have to be romantic even though it can uh, but more so love as a frequency coming from a place of love and um let's jump on over to the fairy tarot I'm trying to get it in camera Okay, the Prince of Spring is the first message. This is the Knight of Wands. So in June or whenever you happen to see this message, it's definitely a time to get things going. Um, putting those ideas into motion, putting inspiration into motion. Some of you may actually also be feeling very passionate energy. So whether that is passionate energy in terms of like sexual chemistry towards someone or just feeling the desire there if you get my meaning or whether that is passionate energy in terms of feeling extra creative and inspired to get things going to to get things happening that energy is coming through it's a lot of energy of being on the move moving pieces um a, a lot of going 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 and doing uh, make sure you balance rest too but there's a lot of going and doing um with the energy coming through since this deck comes with some messages on it, I will read it as well. Um, some of the messages here are immediate action. So taking immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage. So if challenges arise, then basically know that there are things that you can handle that you can um, overcome. And a passionate relationship, which I kind of already talked about, like that desire there 
or a passionate relationship it can be romantic or it could even be like platonic or business like have having a mutual passion for a project or something that you're doing so you're having a passionate relationship with whoever you're creating that business with or um that partner that coworker, etc um there's also a need to continue to be self-confident i feel there's a need to be um i'm hearing the word resilient know your strength is what i'm also hearing spirit talking about um embrace your uniqueness embrace um being different than the norm or what you normally do is also what i'm hearing as well um let's go ahead and jump on over to the healing with the fairies oracle and then we'll get into each week we're still on the general message so this is going to be the last message for the general message before we get into each week okay financial flow so there's a focus on finances money career goals stability creating a um, foundation for the month um, but I do feel like this is a positive sign that yes money is going to be flowing out and in in and out but what does get removed will eventually be replenished in divine time so when I say divine time it may not always be on your timing but in divine timing it will one of the things I like to do is whenever I spend money I always say sorry I keep scratching but I always say um, Whatever amount and what it is that I just spent, I will say that amount and I'll say I'm, I'm thankful that this is returning to me um, tenfold for positive reasons. Thank you, so it is. And I emphasize for positive reasons because you don't want it to come back in a form as like compensation for something that was hurtful or harmful to you, for example, like a... Um, accident or something we don't want that so we want it for positive reasons if that makes sense um so i think what spirit is saying is is to get more organized about your money flow about your financial flow maybe st sticking to a budget sticking to a plan working with a financial advisor who's trained in it um and i also feel that this is a sign that once you are being like living living within your means for example but also still allowing money to flow like not being too stingy with it with a poverty mindset i do feel like what spirit is saying is that money is going to be flowing to you it's just a matter of time before sorry there the before the momentum trying to get it in before the momentum catches up i don't know why it's not focusing but you're creating something and money is also energy so even in the sense of not just literal money, but in terms of just like things of value, you are creating an abundant life. Or if you feel like you're not, then take the steps to create a, an abundant life. Where can you start to begin to create abundant life for yourself in and around you? But I do feel like spirit is, because I'm feeling like this warm hug energy through clairsentience. And I feel like what spirit is saying is they got you. So even if you don't see all the results exactly how you want in June, spirit's got you. And in divine time, you're gonna to begin to see more of that return on your investment. Money's gonna flow in or opportunity to make that money in finances is gonna to begin to flow in in divine time. Whether you see it in June or, or not, or, or whatever month you're in. Now let's jump on into each week. <clears throat> Okay, so for week one of the month, the first message for self-care is look for fairies. So that may seem a little bit funny to some of you, but fairy energy, fairy energy is very playful. It's very childlike. It's very fun. So I think what Spirit is saying is to enjoy the little things to also get creative to also organize because fairy energy is also kind of like organizing but also fairies come to help think of like a either a fairy godmother or even think of like i forget which disney movie it was with the fairies that were helping 
the princess or whatever get ready fairies are people that are here to help so think of it like try to relax and enjoy because you have people that are here to help um or that will be there to help or whether that's people that are personally connected to you or it could even be strangers such as professionals that you're seeking help from um it could even be your spirit team and your ancestors that are here to help look for fairies meaning look for the help look for the guidance but also appreciate the little things in life that are that are going well um get creative organize your life organize your environment um clean up if you have to um organize your plan and your thoughts um and enjoy and have fun try to do something fun and playful as well to connect with your inner child or even to connect with your the children in your life the actual children in your life um that are still open to these other realms and enjoying the next message is for week one engagement so for some of you, again, general reading, take a resonates, release what doesn't. For some of you, you may actually have engagement on the mind, planning it, wondering when it's gonna happen, or maybe you are planning to, to propose to someone. Some of you may already be engaged and be and planning the next step. Some of you may get engaged. Again, lots of people are watching this, so it's gonna be different things for different people. For others of you, I feel like this is about engagement more so in the terms of like, for example, like, engagement on social media like you may have a focus on the engagement you're receiving on your platform especially if you're like an influencer or something like are you are people commenting are they liking are they sharing like that kind of engagement that could be a focus that you may have for some of you during the week one it could also be a focus in terms of how you are engaging with someone or a group of people in terms of conversation, those interactions. Um, and for others of you, it could be more so the energy of you getting clear and direct about um, what you want and need for the next level of commitment and whether or not the people in your life, whether it's romantic or platonic or otherwise, are worth that commitment for you or um observing to see if you're on the same page towards commitment that next level commitment whether it's little engagement or just symbolic commitment as well is coming up for week one take it resonates release what doesn't then we have the nine of spring which is the nine of wands so it's also important that you're allowing yourself to take a moment to pause before um just impulsively jumping into action because there is an energy of needing some time to just kind of pause reflect and allow some recovery energy um i'm i've heard spirits say sit in the meadow so i think <laughs> um i think that's more symbolic or metaphor for spending some time in nature if you can to ground your energy or to just kind of allow yourself to get some fresh air to breathe deep things like that the message here on the bottom though is protect the fruits of your labors prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead and environmental conservation so protect your resources protect what you've worked for the fruits of your labor make sure you're being smart about things um, including your personal energy and your hearts protecting that as well being selective of who you give that to and um, preparing for possible challenges that lie ahead. It doesn't mean that it's gonna go all bad necessarily, but it's just, it's good to be prepared. It's good to have a plan in motion. It's good to have um, things organized, kind of going back to that fairy energy so that if something does come up, you already know, or you already have a plan or things are already kind of in order for you to kind of get over that, that bump in the road, if that makes sense. The last message for week one, is happy ever after so <laughs> i feel like definitely some dreams are coming true or some of you are focusing on manifesting those dreams some of you are feeling like you're really getting all of what you've been wanting for a long time or just life is just moving and changing in such a positive way and others of you may be wondering when are when are you going to have your happy ever after when are you going to get the dreams that you've been working on and manifesting um but I take this as a sign to not give up, not to give up on the bigger picture, 
of that dream because you deserve it and spirit is saying you can have it you may have to change some of the characters in the fairy tale a bit like some of you may be thinking somebody's a prince charming and they're really just holding you back from prince charming coming in kind of like what was it on frozen i think it was frozen um when she this is just an example you guys it resonates it resonates when she thought that she wanted to marry the one guy but he ended up being like a a fake like a con and then really the other guy who was there the whole time was for her like like something like that just an example if that resonates with you so again some of you may feel like you're are you already have your happy ever after some of you, you feel like your happy ever after is finally manifesting you're seeing the bits and pieces come to fruition and for some of you you're wondering when it might happen but you know you may have to make some changes before it can come in but spirit is saying it's you deserve a happy after after you deserve a happy ever ever after so don't settle i feel is the bottom line that, that spirit is trying to say going into week two the self-love that we all can do is chanting so whether that is meditating whether that's doing affirmations whether that's doing mantras whether that's singing a song that uplifts your spirit that has very powerful healing positive words um things like that or yeah i think i already said mantras uh using sanskrit things like that chanting and however you connect with chanting for yourself is a form of self-care that can really help you continue to manifest and heal in week two of the month then we also have different views so some of you may be seeing things from a new and different perspective having a different view on something uh, maybe somebody else is letting you know that they have a different view or a different perspective now. You may have, um, you may be seeing things from a new and different angle as well. So whether it's you having a different view from someone else or a group of people, whether it's you seeing something from a new and different perspective, or whether somebody else is seeing something from a new and different perspective, notice where there's this energy of like, minds changing or perspective changing which is completely fine and okay if that's the case that something is shifting or changing up or you have to see something differently or someone else is seeing something differently environmental awareness is another message for week two so um just being aware of your environment and how it's impacting you how it's influencing you how it is um changing your energy so are the people that you're spending your time with do they keep draining you why are you still spending so much time with them if that's the case something to ask yourself um or are they fueling you are they really helping to continue to make you become a best version of yourself or maybe you want some alone time maybe you're aware of the fact that you need some space within your own environment in your own little bubble however it resonates with you that's coming up as well for week two being aware of your environments and who you're sharing your time with um whether you want to continue or pull away whether it's feeding you and your highest good or not having that awareness and then also the six of autumn which is the six of pentacles is coming up so really looking at things to to see is there an even exchange of balance of give and take if there's not if you're settling for less if you feel like you're just getting the bare minimum or begging for scraps then again there's maybe some shadow work to do and maybe there's a need to see things differently so that you can then set higher standards for yourself or you know know your worth or change up your environment or call something new in that's better for you by chanting affirmations, mantras, whatever it is. But if you do feel like things are in balance, like you feel like you and the people around you are equally yoked or you and your partnership, who, um, whether it's romantic or platonic, that you guys really are balancing each other out, like the same energy you put in, you get back. There's a return for your investment, things like that, which can apply to career too. If you feel like things are in balance, then keep going, keep moving. But I do also feel like this is spirit saying that um, 
in divine time, you're going to begin to see some rewards for the changes that you've been doing, for the work that you've been putting in. You're going to begin to see some rewards. It may be showing up in week two, or it may come a little bit later. But either way, eventually the scales will come back into balance. They won't always be lopsided, you know what I mean? Unless you absolutely refuse to make some changes in certain areas or see certain truths. The message, truths, <laughs> the message here on the bottom is, the good you do comes back to you. So continue to do good. It's kind of like that energy of what you put out there. Um, some will say it, come back, it comes back to you three times fold. Some will say it's 10 times fold, whatever. Either way, what you put out comes back to you in greater amounts. So you wanna try to put out the good. An unexpected inflow of money. Ooh, manifest the money. Borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. So some of you may be paying off debts around the second week or um, maybe working with ways to do that, getting smarter about that, um, whether that's literal money debts or whether that is like more of like a karmic debt in terms of like a lesson or cutting a karmic cord. Um, some of you may, again, just be seeing more abundance flowing in, prosperity flowing in whether that's money or other blessings, because abundance and prosperity can be money, but it can be other blessings and and realizations or other great things in life coming to you um, in week two. Going into week three, the first one that's jumping out at me is problem resolved. So some sort of problem, some sort of issue is either already resolved or being resolved um, in week three, or it could even be that if you don't see the re resolution yet, know that it's on the way if you don't see it in week three know that it's on the way there's a problem that is being resolved that um sometimes that resolution though is different than what you thought you were going to get different than what you expected sometimes even different than what you wanted but in your highest good for others of you it may be exactly what you were hoping for but either way the problem is going to be resolved and it's going to be in your highest good and it's going to lead to something even better and i feel that with there's a snake here and the snake to me is representing again that transformation that shedding of skin of the old chapters that need to be let go rebirth energy rejuvenation energy being so changed something happening that is changed sorry it's... something's moving fast <laughs> windows open so the outside noise is coming through but i take that as a sign things are moving fast and what i was gonna say is it's some sort of change that is so significant that there's no way that you can go back to either the person you were before or the old chapter that you were a part of before. Um, it, but that's for a good reason. Transformation happening. Also an energy of like enlight like awakening, enlightenment coming, some aha moments coming, I feel. Um, the next thing is for self-care. For all of us in week three, we have family. So you may want to spend time with family, a focus around family whether that's your blood family or chosen family, like soul family, friends, community, or um, some of you may be planning family or starting a family. Some of you may want to heal something with family, like having a discussion, or maybe you've had a realization about something about your family that has affected you, and now you're working on healing that. Maybe it's going to family therapy for some of you, or maybe it's just having fun and appreciating your family. However, family resonates with you and in, in, in taking self-care that is connected to your family life and family dynamic um, is coming up. Take what resonates, release what doesn't. Um, again, I think I already said it, but just in case, could be spending quality time with family um, in week three. Could be family changes, new members coming in could be some members transitioning out um but just remember um nothing ever dies just changes form i see other obligations coming up so basically what spirit is saying is don't get distracted by things that don't matter in week three you have other obligations now other things to focus on that are priority and then finally, the for week three, 
we have the Ace of Summer, which is the Ace of Cups. So there's a lot of emotions flowing through. There's like, I'm getting this energy of just like being just so swollen with emotion, overwhelmed with emotion. Like, and it feels good. Like it feels like a, a loving hug. For the most part, I mean, some of you, you may have some emotions that you need to let out that are healing. So it may not necessarily feel as great in the moment. It could be like a, a purging cry or something for some of you. But for others of you, it just really feels like happy tears, like emotions just flowing through, feeling so many different new emotions. Some of you, this could be deep heart to heart conversations. Some of you, this could be just feeling so blessed, feeling like there's so much going on around you it could even be other people around you that are super emotional and so therefore because they're around you or around your energy it's affecting you also so again take whichever part resonates with you maybe if you have to let it play out um deeper commitments as well in the sense of like this could be you having a deeper commitment to something within yourself like maybe you're maybe you told yourself that um you're going to stop doing this and because it's not good for you anymore. Maybe that deeper commitment is you committing to what you have set for yourself. Maybe it's you committing deeper to a relationship or to a business plan or to um, whatever it might be. Deeper commitments are coming up. Could be a deeper commitment to a schedule, something like that. The message here on the card, since it's here, is... Open your heart to love. The beginning of a new intimate relationship or rebirth of a current one. The awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. So some of you may also be having, um, did I already say that? I did, I earlier I said enlightenment or something like that. But that kind of ties into that energy of some of you may have really strong heightened psychic abilities and awareness and spiritual epiphanies that may be coming in in or around week three of the month. Week four, let me get a sip of water. Okay. <clears throat> week four. <laughs> Hydrate right after I drink some water. <laughs> so week four, make sure that you are hydrating. Drink your water and mind your business. Mind the business that pays you. <laughs> but drink your water, hydrate. We, water keeps us alive. We are made up of it. To take it even a step further, you could program your water with magic and intention so that when you drink it into your body, you are manifesting something or healing something as well. But make sure self-care when week four is drinking a lot of water. Um, also an energy of purging because water can also represent purging cleansing um so if you're not even just drinking water but maybe you are taking some sort of a cleansing bath or spiritual bath maybe you are um doing like shower meditations maybe you're spending time near a body of water that is cleansing and healing if you connect with yamoya or another um goddess form that um has a similar vibration as Yumaya, but in a different culture, maybe connecting with that, if that is something that resonates with you. Uh, so that is all coming up. Then we also have the message of full blown romance for week four. So for some of you, you may be really feeling that romantic love or desire um, towards a partner or somebody of interest. Some of someone for some of you, somebody could be expressing that towards you or showing that towards you. Some of you could be falling in love, but when I say that, falling in love, I do feel some of you that could be falling in love in terms of romance, yes, but I also feel like it could be falling in love with like not necessarily in terms of romantic way for some reason. It could be like maybe you're falling in love with a new home that you got, or maybe you're falling in love with a new um, recipe or maybe you're falling in love with a new member of the family like a child or like a baby or something or maybe you're falling in love with um, a new hobby something else you know what I mean a passion project 
that that kind of energy is coming up to like a full-blown romance with an idea of something also some of you are needing to have a full-blown romance with yourself needing to fall back in love with you and yourself again many people are watching this so take whichever side of the coin resonates with you release what doesn't but full-blown romance is coming up some of you may be falling into a new and different kind of love with your romantic partner like it's just going to a whole new level um a different kind of love that you didn't know you could experience for some of you so take whichever part of any of that resonates with you release what doesn't when the time comes inner power it's another message for week four so the power is within you stop looking externally listen to yourself your intuition you do your magic your manifestation uh, the power is within you stop looking outside of it for the answers when you already have them stop looking for somebody else to fix the problem when only you can fix the problem know that you have power you're strong you're magical and trust that the last message if i could pick it up off the table is the ten of summer which is the ten of cups so i'm getting this energy of like i'm feeling emotional security and stability and if you look closer there's like a couple here on the boat and then there's like some children over here and then some fairies so it's still giving me it's still oh wait they're all fairies but it's like a family of fairies the couple and the children here sorry let me see if i can get it to focus so you guys can see the image and you can pause this if you want but it's still giving me that energy of like family dynamic family vibes um whether that's spending quality time with your family whether that is reflecting on the past with your family and how you you are healing and evolving from certain things sorry i had a hiccup whether that is you thinking of future family in terms of what you want to create if you want to have a family like think about that some of you this could be about fam i feel like family legacy like what is your family legacy what are you leaving behind um for some of you there could be a focus on generational wealth or something like that not to like scare anybody or anything but this is also a focus for some of you around something to do with like a a family will or family inheritance um things like that so again take what resonates release what doesn't but i am getting this energy of um emotional security like a yeah, focus on that so whether you're feeling it whether you're actually feeling emotionally secure or whether that's something you're desiring and manifesting there's a focus around emotional security the message here on the bottom is in an emotionally fulfilling life with family wait an emotional fulfilling life with family or friends so you could even some of you could even be feeling um spending that family time with your chosen family like friends, fam, uh, community, tribe. Um, for some of you, this is something you desire and are in the process of manifesting. Raising children wisely. So being smart about how you are parenting or even looking back at how you were parented and how you would do it differently or how looking back at how you were parented, how it affected you as a person and what you can heal if need be um and also being around people you can trust for so for some of you you may be already be feeling like you're around people that you can finally trust and for others of you you may be realizing that you need to get rid of some people from your life because you realize that you can't trust them and you want to be around people that you trust so that is what i see going on for week four hopefully you guys enjoyed this comment below how it resonated with you and if you're following along by each week let me know how each week is playing out for you i love reading those kinds of feedback um if you choose to you could always tip by buying me a coffee for the energy exchange and that information is down below in the description box on where you can go to do that like this video subscribe to my channel and i will talk to you guys another time